Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah praises be to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. There has been many questions asking uh, about the permissibility of wishing other people from other religion um, for their celebration an example Christmas or the Pavali or things like that. Number one, we have to understand that um, yes, Islam always practice goodness, helping others, uh, cheering up others, and we do not create any fight or enmity with anyone. Now, there are two things. Number one, it's uh, wishing other people celebration based on their culture. An example, Chinese New Year, Happy New Year, uh, and things like that. Uh, nothing to do with the religion. Things got to do with culture or races. Uh, things got to do with cultures and races, there is no prohibition in, for us to wish other people based on their culture celebration or their race celebration. Now comes to the religious part. When religion is involved, an example Christmas, or when exam an example Dipavali, or any other religions, is it allowed for us to wish them Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, or Happy Dipavali, and so on? Firstly, we have to understand that it is mentioned in many texts in Islam, uh, on the traditional text of our scholars, that they disallow the wishing for those kind of celebration which is connected to their religion. Their reasoning was, uh, we are showing um, comfort or we are accepting the celebration of their religion. That is why our scholars will say that it is not allowed. And mashallah, tabarakallah, we respect those scholars. They have made the right decision uh, according to the dalil that they have brought. Now, at this time, uh, some people might hear that it is allowed and some people might hear that it is not allowed for us to wish others in uh, their celebration according to their religion. There has been wide differences among the scholars nowadays, mashallah, tabarakallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us to the right way. Now, what we can say is that we are allowed to say Merry Christmas or Happy Dipavali and so on without us being content with their religion. Which means we are content with their religion. We are just saying in a way to be nice to them because they are very nice to us when it comes to Eid, when it comes to Eid al-Fitr, when it comes to Eid al-Adha, when it comes to Mawlid al-Rasul. They give gifts to us. They uh, do good things to us. So it is not wrong for us to show the same akhlaq or better than that if their celebration of religion comes without feeling content for what they are doing according to their religion. Which means in our heart we do not agree with the celebration but to be nice with them we just say it. The same goes to uh, Dipavali or Christmas and so on. What we, at the same time, we have to respect what has been said by our previous scholars. They totally said it is not allowed. For us, we have to see, is there a need or there is no need? If there's a need to wish them an example, people who are, con who are converts, they think there's an extreme need for them to give such wishes because otherwise the, then the family will think that Islam promotes enmity. If there's a need, then you can wish your close friends, very, very close friends, maybe your colleague at work, without making it so big. An example, putting in front of your house, Merry Christmas, putting a Christmas tree in your house, or putting on Facebook, Merry Christmas. Such things should not be done. We just wish close friends and close family members and if there is need, if there is no need, then it is better for us not to wish and not to say anything in respect 
to what have been said by our previous scholars. And mashallah, tabarakallah, both opinion are right. Ikhtilaf um, al-ummah, rahmah. The differences of the ummah, which refers to ummah, refers to the ulama, is a source of mercy. So we should look at Islam as a source of mercy and we shouldn't wrong anyone who does this or say this or we shouldn't wrong anyone who say this. We should wrong those people who think that they are the only right. They are, they are, their understanding is the only one which is right. So that's all. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correct us if there's any wrong doing. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us good akhlaq so that we are able to show good akhlaq to the Muslims and also to the non-Muslims. And special akhlaq that we show to the Muslims and general good akhlaq we show to the non-Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. Wa'alaikum wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.